I recently spent the afternoon at a beachside neighborhood called Kira. It's in the suburb of Kulingata on the Gold Coast. I was actually visiting my sister down there. She was down there for work, so I thought I'd spend the afternoon and uh, yeah, go say hello. As normal, I didn't have many plans of what I was going to shoot. I just thought I'd take the Mami RZ67 with me with a couple of rolls of Portra 400 and yeah, just shoot some beachside scenes in the area around where she was staying. So firstly, we took a walk across the beach. The sky was pretty clear at this point. Uh, there was a few clouds dotted around, but yeah, it was a nice kind of sunny day. I think the first thing that caught my eye were the sand trails of people's footsteps at the access points to different parts of the beach. I think what I really liked about those scenes was the grass coming out the sand. It added a nice bit of texture and the green contrasted nicely to the, um, the golden color of the sand as well as there was quite a nice symmetry in these shots as well. The wind was actually pretty fierce that day and I think it's cool how you can see the shapes it creates in the sand, um, the curvatures, and also where you've got the foot indents of people walking in the sand, it's kind of smoothed them out to create this nice oval textures in the sand. It had definitely been a while since I'd shot the coast. I've mostly been shooting in the suburbs and also the countryside, so there's a very different kind of scene to that. Um, so I had to take a bit of time to figure out what I wanted to shoot and how I wanted to shoot it as well. Okay. It's awesome if you've got a different perspective you want to shoot that day or you want to look at the details a bit more uh, rather than shooting the generic shot. Probably one of my favorite photographers who uses color exceptionally well is Joe Greer. I'm sure a lot of you know him already. He's definitely not afraid of those more saturated scenes. I think his editing style really pulls out some interesting colors when he's shooting at dusk or sunrise. Recently, I've been inspired by more minimalist kind of scenes, um, especially ones shot at like sunrise or sunset. Based on this recent inspiration, um, I decided to wait till golden hour before I kept on shooting. Um, I only had two rolls of Portra 400, um, so I didn't want to waste them too early and miss some nice light. Also, my sister was showing me photos of sunset the night before, and it just had the most incredible colors. And I thought it'd be worth waiting it out and uh, seeing if I can capture some nice scenes then instead. After a quick snack at the apartment, I headed back down to the beach actually heading in the opposite direction to where I was going earlier. Unfortunately, I didn't get much footage from this point onwards. Um, I kind of zoned in on taking photos. The light was just so incredible. I got a bit wrapped up in that, especially when you're dealing with the RZ67. It takes a little longer to meter, focus, that kind of thing. Um, so I definitely got a bit sidetracked with that and didn't get as much footage as I would have liked. As I was leaving the apartment block, um, there was actually such nice light hitting the side of the apartment building and I got really attracted to the typeface. It was a cool typeface with the building name there. I was standing in the middle of the road at this point, um, but I think it was worth it for the shot. Sometimes you end up in these sticky situations where you nearly get run over, but you know, this time it was worth it. So afterwards, I actually headed down to where the headland was um, it was still fairly bright at this point. It kind of felt like a bit of a street photography scene at this point. You had a lot of things going on here. You had people walking their dogs, um, guys heading out towards the surf, and also people going on runs and just enjoying the view as well. It seemed like our time leaving the apartment pretty well as well, because this is when the dusk colors started appearing in the sky and you had that nice filtered light coming across the sand and the sea. This particular shot actually stood out to me quite a bit, especially when I got the scans back. I just couldn't believe how many different layers to the photo there were. Uh, you had the greenery at the front, you had the sand and the sea, you had kind of a few people dotted around, especially that surfer in the corner um, was very detailed as well. And then you had the apartment buildings in the back, as well as the sky as well. So there was a lot going on here and somehow I managed to expose it correctly. I think I was exposing uh, one stop over for this shot. So I ended up wading into the water about knee deep. Uh, kind of soaked my trousers, but I think it was worth it to get the right angle for the shot I wanted. Well, there were surfers coming across uh, the waves and I really wanted to get one riding a wave in front of me. 
Um, so yeah, I ended up just getting a bit soaked for that one. I think when I got this shot back from the scans, I was blown away. Um, I was hoping, fingers crossed, that I was gonna get this shot right. If you shot with an RZ67, you can imagine this was quite hard to capture um, with the manual focus as well the waves coming in and out. So I had to make sure I was focusing correctly. Also, light metering was a bit tricky because the light was changing quite a bit with the sunset. But yeah, managed to pull it off somehow. And I'm super stoked with this one. At one point, a set of birds were actually flying overhead. So I quickly changed up positions to capture that. Based on my intention to shoot more minimalist scenes, this definitely nailed what I was looking for. I absolutely love how the dusk orange lighting catches the birds and also how the fluffy clouds are just sitting at the bottom there adds a nice touch to it as well. It's an interesting photo because to someone else they probably wouldn't be that mad about it but I just love how the birds are actually like a subtle detail you can almost not see them in the photo as well as you know the color palette of the sky it just feels like quite a cinematic scene. I found the rocks dotted around the beach Create a nice juxtaposition against the silky smooth sand and the very flowy kind of ocean and also the soft lighting. Recently I've been trying to find my own style and I'm trying to change up the way I'm shooting and I think these two roles were definitely a step in the right direction for me. Another thing as well, I'm definitely getting more used to using the Mamiya RZ67. It's actually coming up to about a year of having the camera so I'm due to do a review of some kind. Um, I've been using it a lot I've got many good things I want to talk about. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to do that as well. After walking down the beach, I actually found a rocky pier and decided to take camp there as the sun started to completely set. At this point, I wanted to experiment with some motion blur, seeing as the sky and the sea were such a nice color palette, I thought it might come out quite well. I realized after I took the shot, I probably should have let the shutter open for a little bit longer because um, I didn't have enough time to kind of swipe across and give that kind of moving effect that I wanted. I did quite like the scan when I got it back, so I wouldn't mind experimenting with some motion blur again, um, especially those type of scenes. I think I would have benefited from a tripod at this point. I was shooting pretty wide open and I was suffering with a bit of vignetting and also some of the photos, the foreground was coming out of focus. I haven't really been spending too much time on the coast recently, like I said before. So this kind of reminded me why I love it so much. Perched up on the rocks with my camera, taking the last few shots of the day, at sunset it's that real therapeutic kind of moment uh, where you remember why you enjoy the coast so much apologies again for not having too much behind the scenes footage this time but i really do hope you enjoyed the photos they were a lot of fun to make and i think they're more of the focus point this time if you want to see more of my photos head over to my instagram i do actually post quite frequently on there um, and also I've got some ideas for stuff I want to do for Instagram TV and Instagram live as well um, So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. So head over there if you want to catch some of that. Otherwise um, Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Peace